So do you know what artificial narrow intelligence is? And there's another term called artificial general intelligence. These are not commonly used, but it's very important if you think about artificial intelligence to understand the differences between both. Let me explain to you a little bit. Artificial narrow intelligence are what is what is in use today. For example, you ask Amazon Alexa to play music and then you actually ask Siri to find the nearest Italian restaurant. These are all examples of artificial narrow intelligence. What it means is they're very good at doing one specific function. So for example, you cannot ask Amazon Alexa to actually clean your floor. Maybe you can do that with integrating with iRobot, but you can't, it can only do one specific function. So that is artificial narrow intelligence, which is quite prevalent today. Instead, now compare with artificial general intelligence. Artificial general in intelligence is still in research. And this is where it uses the cognitive sciences of how a human brain works. And you can in future create robots or humanoids using this artificial general intelligence. The good news is artificial general intelligence is far away in the horizon. And what's in use today is artificial narrow intelligence.